more data show that the Chinese economy is still in a difficult situation and has not found a way out after three years of the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, imposing its zero-COVID policy based on lockdown. Specifically, according to Da Ji Yuan on March 17th, China's Ministry of Finance released data showing that from January to February this year, China's total public budget revenue fell by 1.2% year-on-year. Central government revenue fell 4.5%. Tax revenue from January to February fell 3.4% year-on-year. Some tax revenues have dropped double digits. For example, the car purchase tax decreased by 32.8% over the same period last year. Registration tax decreased by 31.3%. And real estate tax decreased by 22.9%. While revenue fell, Chinese government spending increased sharply, following the momentum of previous years. In the first two months of this year, the total national public budget expenditure increased by 7% over the same period last year. Guo Baosheng, a commentator, told Radio Free Asia that the government's income has fallen, and the income of Chinese people has also decreased. People from all walks of life are very depressed. According to Guo, the cause of this situation is the unreasonable operating policies of China's regime, including its zero-COVID policy. The downturn in every sector has also led to severe unemployment. Zhao, a commentator in Beijing, told Radio Free Asia that many people in Beijing could not find work, including university students, even graduate students and doctors.